Indonesia. I'm here to introduce to you a fun activity inspired by contemporary art from the Singapore Art Museum, also known as SEM. Today, we will go back in time to view an artwork that was commissioned for one of the Singapore Biennale, an Atlas of Mirrors. Are you ready? Let's go! The artwork we will explore is called Karagatan or The Breath of Oceans by artist Gregory Halili who is from the Philippines. Did you know that the Philippines is made out of 7,000 islands? Did you also know that both Singapore and the Philippines are part of the southeastern region of Asia otherwise known as Southeast Asia? Can you name other countries in Southeast Asia? When we look at art, we want to share observations and thoughts. So, when you look at this, what do you see? I see 50 pieces that look like boats lined up in the sea. Let's take a closer look and observe the details. What do you notice? Yes! It seems that the artist has created miniature or very small paintings of eyes. Are they all the same or do you see any differences? Let me tell you more. The artist portrays the eyes of people who live in villages along the sea across the Philippines. These people range from fishermen to pearl divers, master boat builder, shell traders and others. What do you think this artwork is made out of? As in most of his artworks, he used pearls and hand-cut mother-of-pearl shells as canvases or surfaces for his artwork. The artists met people who spend their lifetime working by the sea but are very poor. Gregory decided to use this artwork to share their stories. Wow! I never knew art could be made out of everyday materials and found objects like shells. Today, we are going to think about using found objects in our homes as a canvas for an artwork. Activity time! Let's look around our house for bottle caps and found objects. Like the artist, we will try to capture the tiny, distinctive characteristics of a person's eye. We will draw lines, curves, and add highlights, shadows, and contours. Materials, found objects, pencil, marker, or paint. Step one, outline the eye. Step two, draw the inner circle of the eye, otherwise known as the iris. Step three, add the highlight and draw the hole located in the center, called the pupil. Draw the highlight first, then the iris under it. The highlight helps to make the eye look more realistic. Step 4. Fill in the pupil, the darkest part of the eye. Make it as dark as possible. Step 5. Add the upper and lower lines of the eye. Step 6. You will notice your lashes are thicker at the start and thinner at the end. Begin drawing the eyelashes by using broad lines at the start and thinner lines at the tip. Step 7. Darken areas and draw a line in the inner corner of the eye. Darken the edge of the iris. Step 8. Lines and lashes. Start filling in some more lashes and add some lines inside the iris. Step 9. Adding some depth by creating shadows. You can shade the upper eyelid to create a bigger eye or add fine lines or wrinkles around the eyes, especially for older people. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. The point is to have fun, observe the little details and enjoy the process of making art. Keep going! Try experimenting on various surfaces with different drawing materials and see what you can come up with. You can 
try it on different surfaces such as shiny, transparent objects. You can always create a mini installation similar to Gregory's for your entire family to admire. Have fun! Explore and share your final images with us at the Singapore Art Museum. Hashtag the Learning Gallery. Remember to like this video and subscribe to SEND.